What's Hamptoning Hamptonites? Today's guest is an artist, an entrepreneur, a philanthropist. You might have even seen her on the runway of New York Fashion Week or on the cover and in the pages of Social Life magazine. She's one of the most fabulous people that I know with a radiant smile. Her and her family have many accolades, but that does not define her. I am so excited to welcome today's guest, Consuelo Vanderbilt Costin. What an honor it is to be with you, and thank you for those beautiful accolades. It was very kind. How are you managing to stay sane during this world <laughs> pandemic? How is anyone managing to stay sane, right? Being able to express and writing and singing and working on Soho Muse. Speaking of Soho Muse, you are the co-founder. Can you tell us a little bit about Soho Muse and how artists can be involved? Soho Muse is how we like to define this as a trusted source for the creative community. Whether you're a makeup artist, a hairstylist, a designer, and the prerequisite is to be in Soho Muse is that you're a working professional in what you do. And so the thought process behind this is that anywhere around the world, if I'm putting together a project, a music video, a feature film, a fashion show, that I can go in and I can actually, whether a brand can navigate and find talent or talent can find each other within the system. Alongside with Patricia Arquette and a company called Entity in Los Angeles, we did an event with them for our younger tier audience young creative minds who are in school or who are just about to graduate and looking for opportunities and looking for mentorships. And so that's called Soho Muse World. So that's our younger tier that's just opened up. I think it's so important that young kids, as, as you know, that if you have one or two mentors in your life, it can absolutely change the trajectory of your whole life. It really can. You know, Soho Muse, we've just launched a new marketplace, which is amazing. We started with 10 designers. So as you know, retail has suffered so much recently that we're helping to provide more visibility for our members and our designers um, to really get the opportunity to be able to sell their wares. You have spoken wisely at the Bohemian City by Mago Marson and Alex, a creative women's panel in New York City prior to the pandemic. What advice can you offer to everyone that may be struggling today? I think what I would say is kind of what I try to tell myself is just having faith that this too will pass. Um, but I do believe there are lessons in this that I think we need to really adhere to, you know, um, keeping things simple. But it's really, it's always about, you know, keeping connected with the people that you love. Um, you know, we don't really need a lot in life if you have that. Um, so I, I really do. It's those kind of things that I think we really need to make sure that we absolutely moving forward in life, remember, so that it's not a forgotten time. There's been too much loss, too much sad, you know what I mean? That I think we really need to hold on to those things. So that that's kind of, um, I don't know if that was really strong advice, but I would say that's kind of uh, maybe more of a mantra, I think is probably that's beautifully said, Consuelo. Well, you are the seventh generation of the Vanderbilt family. In what ways do you feel compelled to continue the family legacy? Great question. Love that. I'm so in awe of the women in my family. Consuelo Vanderbilt, the Duchess of Marlborough, she was my great, great, great aunt. I'm really reading about her and the fight that she had and getting divorced at that time, which was just unheard of and being part of the suffragette movement and and really taking her mom and get, like leading away, right? That was at that time, absolutely unheard of. Um, and then building the life that she wanted. Um, I think that's really where I, I see that there's been such extraordinary strength and even Gloria, who I sadly never got a chance to meet she was a rebel in her own right and she paved her own way as an artist and and built an exceptional business do you know what i mean so i think watching the journey of who my family is and what they've done is is and will always be incredibly inspiring to me i sit on the board of the vanderbilt museum and the vanderbilt museum is in suffolk county you know my great great grandfather he was a voyager and so 
all these extraordinary artifacts that he's picked up around the world from mummies to mollusks. Like, I have to take you there. Like, you will love this. It's so diverse. There's a huge planetarium. It is such a crazy, beautiful, amazing place. So I invite all of you to please come and just celebrate because it's, it is a family tradition place. So it's just, it's very special and something very important to me. I would be a kid in a candy store. That's what we want. We want you to be that. <laughs> I love that. And you know, I've noticed your jewelry. This is of course the one and only Mr. Milan Breton. I mean, how could this not be, right? And Miss Ronnie Blanchet, who is also an exceptional designer. She's absolutely amazing. Uh, well, we have a very special guest joining us today. I met him first, my God, 10, maybe 15 years ago at the Marcus Klinko and Androni show. And we clicked. It's Milan Breton, fashion designer extraordinaire. Thank you. It's nice to, nice to see you. You're single with Consuelo. I'll be home for Christmas. How did this beautiful duet first come about? Milan flew in from London which was so extraordinary, especially during this time right now. And we filmed at the Vanderbilt Museum. This is why everyone please come to the museum. It's just so special. They made this the most epic Christmas. Just, it's a fairy tale. This wonderful director, Mr. Raphael Feldman, uh, my husband, I just did a little shout out to him, came up with the idea for like planes, trains and automobiles how Milan is going from everywhere, from the subway <laughs> to every train, to planes in order <laughs> to come home for Christmas. And we watch Milan, he's running yeah. and he's walking and it's all happening. And we end up finding each other at the- It's movie. a nice workout. Right? You really did. You ran a lot. You ran a lot. <laughs> I feel like oh it's God. much needed to work out for it right now. It's amazing. The fact that he is the most amazing designer to wear all of his clothes. I mean, come on now. I mean, what? That's a girl's, every girl's dream. So. Oh, it's my dream too. I mean, the gowns are stunning. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I started working with Kylie Minogue when I was a first stylist, like years ago. And um, it's just, it's always fun to put things together for like videos or for movies or things like that. And because you're telling a story. And I think that the fashion kind of adds to that the glamour of it and also the the like the sentiment of it as well so it was it was fun to do <laughs> i'll be home for christmas <laughs> oh that's so sweet oh, that's so beautiful that sounds that's so gorgeous. sweet martin <laughs> that's so sweet oh. you sound amazing i think you need to maybe intercut oh. with the video or the single at this point Everyone go and check out this single Thank on you. Spotify, on Tidal, please on YouTube. It is there and, and all the proceeds go to charity. So please go and enjoy. I'll be home for Christmas. Thank you guys. I love you. <laughs>